Well, in the latest iPhone launching event, we didn't get to see the most anticipated tablet of the year, the iPad Pro. Pretty sad for iPad lovers, as many of us might consider the iPad Pro an overkill with Apple Silicon M1 chipset, but that's what makes it stand out. Besides, with Samsung introducing the powerful and larger Tab S8 Ultra, Apple definitely should come up with the next-gen iPad Pro soon. But when might it actually surface or what could be the upgrades? Will Apple bring up the dynamic island on their iPads as well? We are here to answer all these questions, so sit back and enjoy. As we have mentioned already, the iPad Pro seems to be a bit delayed than we expected. That's probably because Apple wants to make sure their top-of-the-line tablet keeps its heads up. According to popular Ming-Chi Kuo, the upcoming iPad Pro is likely to have similar 11-inch and 12.9-inch variants. So, rumors about the 14-inch iPad Pro doesn't seem to be true, yet finger crossed. What's more interesting is, that the iPad Pro might slim down its bezel and instead of a notch design, the iPad Pro might also feature a dynamic island. This will be great as we will be getting a more edge-to-edge -to, -edge to screen. Ming-Chi Kuo also mentioned in the same report that, that the 11-inch iPad Pro and 12.9-inch model might come up with a mini-LED display, so there's no OLED even for the bigger iPad. Another key feature that Apple might bring to their iPad Pro lineup from their iPhone is, MagSafe compatibility. According to a recent report from Bloomberg, Apple is currently working on developing wireless charging capability and MagSafe support for its upcoming iPad Pros. This will allow your iPad to be compatible with more MagSafe accessories. Another report suggests that the tablet will come with a glass back and will support reverse wireless charging. But for the performance upgrades, many were hoping to see an M2 chipset with the upcoming iPad Pro, but not happening anytime soon. Instead, we might get to see the previous M1 chip with more GPU cores and speed boost. And, to be honest, we don't think, the iPad Pro actually needs the M2 as the M1 is already powerful enough to handle any complicated tasks with ease. But with such upgrades, will Apple increase the price as well? The answer is, no, Apple is likely to stick to the same price tag as its predecessor, which is $1,099. Would you consider buying the upcoming iPad Pro? Throw all your thoughts in the comments, give this video a thumbs up, and subscribe to our channel to keep yourself updated with all the latest tech news.